My name is Becky Klein and I'm the director of the Walt Disney Archives and uh, we're down here at the, at the Bowers Museum in Santa Ana launching our brand new exhibition. First time anybody's seen it today and it's called All the Glitters, the Crown Jewels of the Walt Disney Archives. And it really does glitter as I was walking around <laughs> here today. It's beautiful. Um, could you tell me a little bit about how this got started for this specific exhibit? Well, you know, during the pandemic, we had a lot of, not downtime, we had to work pretty hard from home. But one of the things that our exhibits team was kind of stymied because they couldn't do hands-on exhibition work. So our exhibits team put their heads together and I had each one of them pitch me an idea for a future exhibit. And this one just stood out. It was when uh, Melissa Pancook, who's our registrar, pitched the idea to do this kind of crown jewels exhibit and to showcase the accessories that she works with all the time. And she noticed how many we had and how beautiful they were. And she said, wouldn't it be fun to do an exhibit just about the accessories and regalia and and uh, crowns and jewelry that, that go with the beautiful costume collection we have, but sometimes don't get as much notice for their artistry. We did a, a big exhibit on costumes uh, fairly recently, Heroes and Villains, The Art of Disney Costuming. And that included some accessories, of course, but this is a, a way for us just to, to really focus down on just the artistry of costume jewelry and uh, how important it is to the stories we tell, but also how beautiful it is in its own right. So she makes the pitch and you say, this is a great idea. Mm -hmm. What is the process next from great idea to here at the Bowers Museum? Well, you know, we, we opened an uh, exhibit here with the Bowers Museum right before the pandemic hit. It literally had opened a few weeks before everybody got sent home. So it was called Inside the Walt Disney Archives, and it was all about what the archives does. And it was a great exhibit, and it was a great partnership with the Bowers. So we, we really felt bad for them when the museum got closed down for over a year. So during that time, we came up with the idea that after Inside the Walt Disney Archives moved on, which it did, it's in Graceland right now, but we figured we would love to do another exhibit with them and we had one kind of already pitched to us that would work perfectly. So that's how it came about and we're so excited to be opening it today. That is very cool. So um, I got a lot of Disney geeks that, that watch our stuff and I notice you've got a piece that's a merchandise piece from Pollyanna and some mm -hmm. other fun like watches and, and things over there that you might not expect when you're coming to something like this. Um, I also noticed that, uh, what was it, the, uh, the, the Yavin medal from uh, Star Wars A New Hope as I was walking yep, through. Yeah, Chewie's medal, yeah. Yes, so what are some of the things that pop out at you um, as you that maybe are a little bit more obscure mm -hmm. that kind of excite you about this one? Well, that was one of the things that we wanted to do is to focus not just on the things you would expect, which are, you know, the crown from Princess Diaries and the Heart of the Ocean from Titanic. Those are all here and they're fabulous. But it was a really great opportunity for us to show that the company also has other jewelry and other pieces that fit into that category that weren't made for films. And so there's a display that specifically shows things that, um, like you said, are a little more obscure, a few mer merchandise pieces like the famous Pollyanna locket, which mm -hmm. has that story that there's a quote in there that wasn't really Abraham Lincoln's quote. Somebody was really there's smart. A, <laughs> there's a great story, you know, back story to that one. But there's also some really fun things like the princess brooches from Disneyland's 50th anniversary, which are fabulous to look at. There's early things like the Mickey Mouse watch from Ingersoll, which is so important to the company's merchandising history. There's the World Series ring that the Angels won or uh, gifts that were given to uh, to the company from Japan. Beautiful pearls, very special pieces. So we were able to bring some of those things, some that were gifts, some that were merchandise, some that were awards actually, and share those as well. So there's some very special pieces sprinkled throughout that have their own history and, and film history, but also American history. That really were a pleasant surprise as I was walking through. It was kind of fun, like, oh, I didn't even have a clue this would be here. Um, let's talk really quickly as we wrap this up. Right behind you, there's a couple of crowns that really jumped out at me. Okay. One of them being the the king's crown from uh, Darby O'Gill and the Little People, mm -hmm. or in, in the, uh, yeah. yes, I did the say it right. Okay. Show, yeah. I'm second guessing myself now. <laughs> That's all right, you're right. But, and then you've also got one from the Muppets. Yes. <laughs> Could you talk a little bit about both of those and maybe teach me something new, I don't know. Yeah. Well, these are pieces that don't particularly glitter. They're not They're not as sparkly as perhaps the Bohemian Rhapsody crown behind me. But they caught my attention. But they catch your attention <laughs> because they're different. So this is all manner of crowns. There's crowns that villains wear, there are crowns that heroes wear, there's princess crowns, there's evil, evil sorcerer's crowns, things like that. But two of them I think are really fun. In this case, 
There's one here that's made entirely of spoons, and they're prison spoons, and that's from Muppets Most Wanted. And so that's a really fun little piece. And then, of course, right behind me also is the, the crown from that, that King Brian wore in Darby O'Gill and the Little People. And that's probably one of the oldest props in this collection. Oh, that's interesting. That film came out in 1959. And so we've had that one in our collection for a while, but it's it's a beautiful piece. It's very simple, very plain, just a rubber crown with a velvet inset. Uh, right. But it's but it's got a lot of film history behind it. That is very cool. Do you think that's the oldest one in here? That's the oldest prop in here. Interesting. Yeah, the oldest piece I would say is the Mickey Mouse watch. Oh, that makes that sense. In, in yeah, that totally makes sense. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for the time. I sure. always appreciate it. It's my pleasure. Thank you for coming and seeing it. Thank you.